In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to backtest any stock trading strategy in Thinkorswim. Do moving average crossovers actually work? If so, which settings work the best? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing you got to do when you're doing backtesting in uh, Thinkorswim, and uh, this is just for stocks, by the way, this is stock backtesting, is uh, you have to set up your charts because all the backtesting is done in the chart tab right here. So let's set up the chart. You have to just take all the studies off. So just go under here. If you have any studies here, just, you know, get rid of them. And the back tester works by whatever time frame you have shown on the chart. That's how far back it'll back test. So right now this, this chart is set to one year, one day. So it'll back test for the last year. And that's not really enough for a good back test. So come up here to the day and go to time frame. And we'll keep it at day because you know that's what you need for the back testing. And we're gonna switch it to like five years. So it, every single back test we run now will be over the last five years. And it's it's pretty cramped, but you can just go like this. You could like zoom into any part of the chart, and it's still because the time frame is set to five years, it'll still give you five years worth of back test results, which is cool. And I'm gonna use a QQQ for this uh, for these back tests, but you can use any symbol you want, and it's good to actually change symbols all the time because you know what works for one symbol might not work for another one so you know it's good to use different symbols sometimes i'm just going to do a basic back test here with qqq because i like doing it on etfs at least for testing out and stuff because you know there's no earnings messing with the results or anything so you get better results using etfs so now we're going to actually add a, a back test strategy onto the chart and to do that you go up to here this edit studies thing it's a little you know flask thing so click on that and go up to the uh, strategies tab and here are all the back test strategies you could do and there's there's a ton to choose from like you could play with these all day you'll never run out of things to try but just for this example i'm going to do a moving average crossovers moving average two line strat just press add selected and if you go into the settings here Here's the uh, fast length and here's the slow length and here's the type of moving average. Right now it's set to exponential. You could do simple weighted wilders and hull. I'll leave it at exponential for now. And it starts at, at the 20 and the 50. And right here, it, these are very important. This is the buy and this is the sell. What this is saying, the buy, right now it's, it's set to auto and the sell is also set to auto. What, what this means is that when the fast length crosses over the slow length, it buys the position and then when it crosses back under it closes that position out and then shorts it so you know it's just, you're just doing the reverse of the trade you know you know you're going you're buying then you're shorting then you're going long then you're going short then you're going long then you're going, you're going short forever so that's what auto does and if you want to take off auto well i'll show you how to do that later let's just let's just run a back test quick with auto on so you see what going long and going short does for this strategy you press apply and now you see here is the actual the trades in action right here so you have this one and, if, and let me zoom out so this is what it looks over five years this is why i like to zoom in because it's too cramped and you can't really see what's going on but you can zoom in on any portion like say you wanted to zoom in on this portion right here you could see all the trades that happened here a ton of trades happened right at this particular time you see how it was so choppy you know this kind of strategy <laughs> wasn't really good in this kind of situation but zoom out and I'll just zoom out to the end here zoom into the end all right and to to find out the results of how this actually this back test actually performed just any one of these trades just right click on it then press show report and right here it's uh it might be hard to see you can like make the window bigger okay so this is every single trade that it did and this is the trade PL. so each trade so this one it bought to open you know it, it made 556 then the next trade made uh 424 you see where it says buy to open then sell to close so that's when it closes the position and immediately it like sells another one to open so then you go short and then it buys it back to close and then it buys a new one and you go long you know you get it and you could see all the way down here all of the results for the different trades and if you go to the bottom it shows you the uh, total p l and how many trades there were so, you know, after all of this, you know, all this trading back and forth, you pretty much only made $258. So, you know, over five years doing this, it was probably a waste of your time. And you're going to see that a lot of the times 
you get bad results if you include shorting in it just because you know over time the market goes up more than it goes down so shorting is kind of a losing strategy if you're just going to do it just blanketly like that so what we could do is I'll tweak the settings here a little go into here and for buying i'm going to turn it to open and then for selling i'm just going to do to close so now it's not going to open short position it's just going to close them and then it'll wait for another buy signal to happen then we'll buy and then when when the, the fast crosses under the slow it's just going to close it out and it's not going to short so let's see what happens now the last one was only up 258 let's see what this one does uh, show report all right so if you go down to the bottom and this total PL is up 6268 so you see just taking shorting out of the mix you know <laughs> the results are a lot better and a lot less trades too so that's something to think about a lot of people think that it's just a 50 50 proposition i'm going to go long and then i'm going to go short because you know if going long works then going short has to work too but through all the testing i ever do you know the numbers always go down when i add shorting into the mix so that's something to think about okay so now that we optimized our results a little bit by taking out shorting let's see if we could optimize them even further and we're going to go in here and go into the settings again and we're going to change the 20 to 50 let's go with something a little quicker we're going to try the fast length is a 10 and the slow length is a 20 and see if these results are any better okay so we should be getting more trades and hopefully the results are better the the, the last results were 6258 i think I just right click press show report and go to the bottom so with 20 trades now the results are 8728 so just this simple tweak right here made the results even better it's uh now it's 8700 which is pretty good considering considering how we started out with plus you know 258 now we're up to you know plus 8700 not too shabby and now another thing you should try too is go in here then go to settings and just you know sometimes exponential works good for some strategies sometimes simple works good for other strategies so i like to just go back and forth with these and see which one actually performs better so this is a simple let's right click on this show report and the last one was 8700 and this one is 9700 so the simple actually outperforms the exponential in this case so you know you could keep tweaking these you know even further maybe you get better results but i'm just going to leave it at this because i'm happy with these and next i'm going to see if uh, we could optimize these results even further by modifying the actual script behind this uh, strategy okay so uh, one of the downsides to this strategy is that you know it's a bullish strategy because we're only buying we're not shorting so if we're only buying you might not want to be you know going long in a bear market or something and i want a way to be able to check to see maybe if the stock is trading under its 200 day moving average and if it is then i don't want to put on any long trades and if it's above the 200 day then i'll think about putting on long trades so as of right now our strategy doesn't show that it doesn't have a, a way to, sh to see that so what we're going to do is modify this script and add in a check to see if the if the price is over or under the 200 day so how we do that is we go right here into our studies go into strategies and we'll find the uh the original strategy we added in so just type in mov to get it up here and uh, i'm going to be creating one here called my moving average crossover i already have it so i'm just going to create a new one for this example so you go to your uh the original one the moving average two line strat and click on these little lines right here and press duplicate and now it gives you this exact script but we're going to name it you know something else example of average cross two i already have one all right now you see right here these are the inputs everything that's labeled input is what we can change in the edit uh, studies thing so like right here you know it says 20 50 and exponential these are things that we could change and we did change before we changed this to 10 and 20 and simple we'll leave these at the default that's fine and right here the plot is this is where it's actually putting it on the uh, the chart for us and add order this is where our buys and sells are actually getting executed right here 
So you see it buys it. It's on auto, so it's doing it's buying and shorting. But we'll change that in the edit studies later. It says when the fast MA crosses above the slow MA, then it buys it. And when the fast MA crosses below the slow MA, then it sells it. And that's pretty much what this strategy is doing. And we're going to tweak it to have an extra moving average that we're going to check the price against. So we're going to say, is the price above the 200 day? Then buy. If the price is below the 200 day, then don't buy. So first we're going to add in another input for the, the third moving average. I'm just going to copy this, add in a new line, then just paste it in. Okay. And I'm going to rename this to slowest length. Okay. And change it to 200. Okay. So now this should show up in our inputs. So we're going to have a fast, a slow and a slowest. And now we're going to have to plot it here too. So we're just going to copy this one right here. Come and see, and go to the next line paste it in. We're going to do slowest. Okay. Change that also. All right. So we have to plot fast, slow, and slowest. And we're going to uh, add one in here too. So we're just going to copy this. Go to the next line. Paste that in. Change this to slowest. And change this color to three. So now we have to change the orders. So right now it's saying fast MA crosses above slow MA, then buy. We're going to say fast MA crosses above slow MA and price is greater than the slowest MA. So you could choose it from this list right here, slowest MA. There we go. And this is just going to hopefully, you know, ideally keep us out of buying, you know, going long during downtrending times. So, you know, whether or not that's the case, we have to backtest it, but this should be functional right now. And we don't need to add anything for the sell. We just need for the buy because this, this is pretty much just, you know, a fail safe for our entry condition. So this should, uh, everything should be working right now. And just to go over this script, what it's, you know, doing is these are the parameters for our moving averages. We have a fast length, a slow length, and a slowest length. It's the, the defaults are 20, 50, and 200 and exponential, but we could change these in the edit studies uh, pop-up because these are inputs. And what it's doing is plotting, and these are new variables here, and it's taking these moving averages right here. You see fast length, and when I, when I uh, hover over this, you see it highlights it above here because it knows it's getting the input from here. And same thing down here and down here. And, you know, these are named different fast length, slow length, and slowest length. And these are fast MA, slow MA, and slowest MA. So these are plots right here. And when we're saying when these plots, fast MA crosses above the slow MA and the price is greater than the slowest MA, then we buy. So that's what this script is doing. And just press OK. And we will add this to the screen right now. I think it is added, but I'm just going to get rid of this other one. Okay. And we're actually going to change the settings in here. We're going to do the ones that performed well for us before 10, 20, 200, we'll leave that and put it at simple. And we're going to set it to open and to close. So we're not going to do any shorting here and press apply. And we'll see how the results are. We should have a lot less trades because it's not actually taking any trades during, you know, downtrending times when the price is below the 200 day. So there should be less trades. So if we scroll down, we could see, you know, we only have 14 trades and the total P&L is 6,700. You'd have to, to go through these and see if your winning percentage is actually better. You can get your winning percentage, you know, unfortunately it doesn't tell you a winning percentage. That would be nice, but you can just go in here and just count them. You know, there's 14 trades. So we're going to say wins one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 wins and four losses. That's pretty good winning percentage right there. And you know, you made 6,700 bucks and you were only in 14 trades 
And if you wanted to, you could uh, test it against the other one right here. So I'm just going to delete this and we'll add in the other strategy. Move two line strat, add selected, change the settings, go to 10, 20, simple, open, close, okay, apply. Here we go. Now right click, show report. And the other one was we were 10 and four with 6,700 in profit. Let's see about this one. So this is 26 trades and 97. So this we have more, you know, a greater PL, but we'll see the winning percentage on these because we're taking trades in every condition. So and there's 26 trades. So how many wins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen. So this was 14 and 12. So the winning percentage is a lot less, but you made more money, but you, you know, you had more losses. So it's up to you to decide, you know, which is the better strategy. I personally would like the one that had a greater winning percentage. You still made, you had a great total PL, but you had less losers. And, you know, who wants to sit around losing 2,000 and 2,000, 1,300? You know, I'd rather have more winners, better winning percentage, even if. Your PL is a little less, but you know, that's for you to decide. I just wanted to show you a way you can, you know, modify any of these strategies you see and make them make them your own and possibly improve on them. So I hope this video gave you some great ideas for strategies you want to try. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, talk to you in the next one.